as you probably can hear from my voice, I am a little bit sick. I got the flu, but I'm feeling so much better. And right now I'm getting ready to go to a knitting class. I started knitting recently. I'm trying to knit a scarf because <laughs> I'm like trying to, you know, take on new projects, new hobbies and shit. So, so this is the furthest I got. It, it, like, it just covers the front. So this is meant to be a scarf, you know, that's the, the goal for this one. And it's going so well, but like, it's not easy. And I'm enjoying it. It takes a lot of concentration and it's fun. So when I saw there was this knitting class, I immediately was like, okay, let's sign up for it. And maybe we can better whatever basic skills that i have now and uh, hopefully like you know i can do i can do it faster i can finish it faster and i want to do other things i want to try to do a beanie and then maybe a little tiny cute little blanket so i'm gonna go to this class now i'm getting ready for that i'm so excited i had a cute little sleepover my friends stayed the night and we had a really nice time we had dinner we walked for a bit and then we just decided to get home and then she just left, so I am getting ready now to go to my class. This is the first time I'm taking this class. It's just like a one-time thing. It's not like a regular class, like weekly or something. I'm going to show them my scarf because I have a few questions that I'm like, I don't know how to fix some issues that happen when I'm knitting. So yeah, we'll do my knitting class and then I'm meeting my friends afterwards. We're just going to chill and see where it goes. Okay, so I'm all good to go. I still don't know where the place is, so I know already I'm gonna be late. I tried to Google it. Funny thing! So I thought I was gonna be late, I was like rushing and everything, and then it turns out that it doesn't start because it, I thought it was starts at 3, but it starts at 3.30. So now I have a lot of time. I'm loving this. So I get to go calm and chill and just walk around the area where we're going to take the class. That's that's really good for me because I was rushing for a bit. But now I don't have to rush. So that is good news. Okay, but I'm already ready. So we're going out now. Let's do this. <laughs> It's so pretty. I'm gonna make a specific special day where I'm just gonna explore Villion. class the netting one was so cute it was so sweet everyone brought their projects and I, I brought my tiny little scarf project and she helped me explain a few techniques and it was just so sweet and cute we got to chat with everyone and like see how people got into knitting and what other projects they did and then i met a few friends afterwards we went for a snack and then we watched the fete de lumiere that's going on this weekend and it was interesting it was all right but i am still recovering from this flu so i don't want to overdo it so i'm just gonna head home now class and it is saturday i got sick a little bit last week i am still recovering but i'm so much better but i still don't feel like it's all the way gone but i'm just gonna show this weekend it is a hot yoga class so i need that sweat because i had crazy week it was so stressful this week i'm heading there now and oh you can smell the lavender already and I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna chill with my friend. We're probably gonna go out, hang out. You know, it is Saturday, but nothing specific planned yet. This is how I'm starting my Saturday. This is how I'm starting my weekend. So uh, I'm going to my yoga now. I just finished my class. It feels good. 
good. Like you can see like my cheeks are red. It's nice and sweaty and like you need it in this winter. It's the perfect class. Like you can't feel motivated to go because it's cold or windy or raining and you're just like oh if we go to this hot yoga like it's gonna be hot and warm and sweaty and it's really motivating so i've only been doing hot yogas this one is like a hot flow i don't know what's the difference between a yoga and a flow i think it's the same thing flow probably is like a type of yoga but they have like a yoga hot yoga class and they have hot flow the one i went to is hot flow and it was a bit difficult but it was nice Ooh. weekend everyone so it's the weekend and it's saturday i just went to the post office got a package i'm so happy because it's the same curling iron that my friend used to do my hair when we were in can it's really good i loved it so much but i have to order one for myself and i got a case literally like took me 10 minutes to go get the package and come home because i was walking so fast i was basically running because i didn't want it to close and uh it was really cold it's really cold but i'm actually not rushing today i have nothing to rush for it's a very chill day since i'm already up and dressed and had my coffee so i'm gonna go to the gym you know just to keep up with the rhythm it's a good day the sun is out even though it's minus two degrees and yeah i just need to do my laundry i'm gonna put a batch in and basically take my laundry out and shower and then do my hair with this uh, curling iron that i got and i'm so excited to open it i'm just happy that it's finally here it took almost a month for it to get here and yeah it's gonna be a good day it feels good already because i got this let's start the day so i feel like it's been a while since we did this oh also one of the things i really need to get something for all these copies i don't know if you can see it i have a lot of boxes and i want to get something that was just like make it more organized i do spend a lot of time at work like from like almost 12 hours but it's not so bad i like what we do it's becoming more of a routine now in my mind i'm thinking i'm in a phase where i need to learn more medical like the system the french system how things work how to do things and learn french like hospital french i love the little improvement that i see from day to day i'm not gonna lie to you you have good days and you have bad days and it goes up and down it's never the same so when i'm like feeling like two days straight like oh my god it feels great i think i'm getting this it's amazing i got this and it's like I'm starting to see my own patients and all of that. And then the third day, things just don't work out. It's just not my day. I misunderstand things and it's okay. And I learn because when that happens, I'm like, oh my God, I thought I was improving. And I thought like I was getting better for the aesthetics. It's like my milk. This is my coffee. <laughs> I wanted to film doing this, 
but it is what it is so i was saying yeah i realized the progress is really not straight line up it's up and down but i have good days where i see the progress in little points where in the beginning when i compare i didn't know anything about what i'm doing now like i go and see patients on my own and i do the questioning and take history and all of it and i understand them a little bit more now and it's getting better in that way i love the days when i really see progress and yesterday friday i had a really good day <laughs> It was really good. I was able to see a patient on my own. I have a full conversation with him and then present the patient to the consultant. And after that, I was able to enter like everything for the patient. He was admitted. So I was able to enter like all of his medications, all of the prescriptions, all of like the blood work that needs to be done, like everything. And it, that part is a lot. And I haven't done that part as a whole by myself before. I, I did like a few things here and there when the consultant says, okay, take care of like, for example, just put like the blood work that we need to do. And they tell me what to put in and then we go over it together um but yesterday i did all of it by myself and then i went to the consultant and i was like okay like i did everything like if you want to go over it with it with me and then we'll check it and we can like fix things and we went over it and he was really happy he said like i did good for first time and it was a lot because this patient had a lot of medications he was on and i had to like verify the doses so we called his wife and i was just so proud and then i had another patient where he was being discharged i called his daughter and i said like come like i'm calling you from this hospital like your father's gonna be discharged everything is okay you can come and like pick him up at two and i was like oh my god after i did that conversation i swear to god after i hung up i was jumping up and down like i was so happy and proud like that conversation is so easy for other residents that i work with like of course it's their language but then for me that i did that over the phone it was such a victory and such a win for me and as simple as it may sound i felt like i deserve to celebrate that moment and really be proud of myself and i felt really proud and i i was so so happy uh yeah so yesterday was a good day oh my god i pray <laughs> monday is another good day but i made my peace with the fact that it can go up and down anytime and that's okay but as long as i'm actually like learning and i'm picking new things every day and i'm learning even from my mistakes and it's fun it's going good <laughs> i'm laughing because i said it's fun it's not always fun but it's all part of the journey and we're, we're going with the flow so yeah that's the update on work work is, is going great <laughs> <laughs> honestly it's been a while since i've given you an update i'm realizing this now today we'll spend the day together this is my saturday so yeah coffee gym we'll see you i guess i'll film at the gym we can film at the gym no we'll see <laughs> okay house and chill and just enjoy the warmth of her blanket <laughs> so yeah that's what we're gonna do so that's why we're in here because it's so windy outside i'm just gonna get milkshake from five guys because i'm craving milkshake and then we'll head home Guess whose cooking game is about to get real, real. <laughs> to me, this is like, I got an air fryer. I'm so excited. 
I've been wanting to get this for so long, especially with work. I've been spending, I, I spent so much money buying dinner, like takeouts every night for a whole month. Yes, who got an air fryer? So It's really bigger than I expected. Oh, this is good size. I got six liters. The lady said four was too small. I am so excited to start using this. Like, wow. The reason I decided to get an air fryer because since I started work, I come home and I'm so exhausted. Like the way I am pulling through and I went to the store and I had to carry this thing. It was really heavy. I'm so exhausted. Like <laughs> I can sleep right now and it's 8 p.m. I don't have the energy to cook. So I order, I order home delivery. And I've done that for like a month or two. And then I calculated the amount of money I spent on home deliveries and it was an insane amount. Like it was just not logical. And I was like, no, we cannot do that. We need to find the easiest, simplest way for me to cook dinner. I am going to the gym. I've been semi good for like a month now. I want to keep going and I want to eat clean and I want to eat protein. And I was like, oh, we'll just get an air fryer. And I talked to a couple of friends and they were all like air fryer. So yeah. So I don't think I'm going to use it tonight. I'm not gonna use it. I already cooked my dinner last night, so I'm gonna eat the leftovers from last night's dinner and I'm gonna chill. But that's the update. I'm seriously so exhausted. And I'm going to I'm going to London next week, Sunday, actually. So end of this week, I'm going to London. It is Tuesday today. I need to start packing. I still didn't get my luggage out. I didn't do any any kinds of packing, but I've been doing laundry. So that's it. That's all that's going on. Yeah, I just wanted to show you my new house friend. Also, yeah, speaking of a house friend, I am going to get a pet. Do you wanna know what I'm gonna get? I'm so excited, cause it's all I can get. It's the only kind of pet that I can maintain with the way my work and my lifestyle is right now. I'm getting a fish. I'm just gonna get a fish. I really wanted a cat and there's no way I can maintain like I, f I feel bad if I left a cat here at home like 12 hours alone and like imagine I can't I feel bad for the plant my poor little plant it's been surviving God knows how um, but I'm trying to give it some sunlight I leave some sometimes the window shutters all put open for some sunlight to go in but honestly, most of the times I just leave the house and I forget to open the shutters and it just sits in the dark, but it's been surviving. I'm just thinking like, I can't get a pet with this kind of life situation. So I'm just gonna get a fish. I'll feed the fish. I'll look at the fish swimming and I'll wave at the fish. And there you go. <laughs> That's all I can do with a fish. I'll just wave at it. We'll see, hopefully it survives and you know, it wouldn't be so much to take care of. I can't, I don't think it would be. I'm clearly exhausted. I'm gonna go and eat my dinner and I think I'm gonna go to sleep early tonight. Okay, see you later. Mm -hmm.